Hey guys, still here, and welcome back to From the Depths. It's already episode 21, and I have considered the comments that were given on the previous episode, and um, as it turned out, my anti-ship turret slash capping turret was not great in its current capacity, so I have decided to overhaul it, and this is the new result. Uh, this is a torpedo launcher, or rather a missile launcher. It throws out the harpoon. The harpoon reaches out to 3,300 meters, and I also throw out two large missiles with EMP warheads doing 25,000 EMP damage each. So that should be enough to properly fry enemy shipping. Of course, it is rather required that I first take out the, well, the main guns or other weapon systems of any particular threat. For now, I have been taking out some, uh, other, some other targets and I might as well use the ducklings to... Um, to get the stuff that was dropped. So this duckling over here, uh, we're Moving going out. to turn on maneuvers. One, Moving two, three. Out. We also got some stuff over there. That's 4,900, that's 4,892. So that's going to be the other duckling. You're going Moving to head out. over Moving there out. and Moving there out. and there. Now let's turn the AIs on on these boys so Moving that they're out. able to actually engage enemy targets. And uh, that duckling is heading the right way. I'm not going to be doing any building this episode. It's just going to be sheer combat. At least that's the aim. <laughs> there is uh, no, well, guarantee that I'm not going to be doing any building after all. Now something behind me was saying it's undergoing repairs. It's not my ducks. It's something else. But where? Here. The panther. Whatever that is. Alright, uh, can you show me the panther? There. Ooh, something hit it. It looks like that might have been one of my ducks and their mighty torps. At least such is my hope. Yep, there we go. It's torping it again. Please don't tell me those missiles are coming for me. Whoa! Careful now! Oh god, are they engaging each other now? Are you engaging something else entirely? Missiles are coming as well by the sound of it. Give me weapon one. What exactly is happening? Oh. It disappeared? Yeah, because it died. Excellent. That's one less to worry about. All right, this duck's going to pick up the stuff. That one's going to head over here. Moving out. Moving out. What are you doing? Oh, you're, you're thinking you're an aircraft. Water right. Your service. Let me have a look at your AI, buddy, because you're... You're doing some awkward stuff. What is happening here? No, it's not the flagship of the fleet. What is happening to this ship? I need to zoom out first. Uh, that's... That duck is operating properly. And absorbing all the materials that it can. There's not that much more out there, is there? No, so you can just rejoin Warm the fleet. And fly with this one, however, is doing some weird stuff. I don't exactly know why. It seems to be zigzagging an awful lot. I need to rename one of these. This is uh, Duck 1. Duckling 1 and the other one's Duckling 2. That way it's going to be a bit easier to see who's who. And who I need to be editing. So this guy's AI has some really weird adjustments that it's doing. Uh, ideal pitch? No. Let's say 3 degrees. Wander distance is fine. Idle distance is fine. Yeah, it should be fine. I have a PID on there. That's allowing it to counter the roll. That's, for those of you who are very observant, the, uh, bottom, uh, the bottom propellers. Uh, roll controller. Yeah, see? This thing should be fine, but... For some reason or another, it seems to be going in reverse. Or was going in reverse. What the hell? 
airborne at your service. No, you're not airborne. Water mode at your service. You're a water mode unit. Moving <clears throat> now. What the Moving fuck? Now. Get over here. Moving now. <laughs> what are you doing? Moving now. Moving now. Moving now. Moving now. This is also a unit that for some reason I cannot give multiple orders to. Anyway, it does seem like it's picking up resources. At least I think so. 6400, 6400, because they're transferring it back to the Glorious, as they should be. Alright, I think you got the stuff, so you can return to patrol mode. Returning to formation. It seems like we still have some weapons out in the water, so we apparently still have something else to shoot at. There's a duck. There's the other duck behind me. Oh, there's all sorts of stuff out there too. Where is that? The north. All right. Oh, that's where you were headed, wasn't it? Moving now. Moving now. There's something not right about this one. This Moving one out. does seem Moving to out. want Moving to out. do Moving out. my bidding, but the other one up and not so much. Fleet. All right, let's set you to You're patrol mode. Now. There we go. Moving now. Moving I had it in now. fleet Moving mode. Now. That's why it was doing all sorts of weird stuff. At least are you moving forward? Yeah, there we go. Well. Sort of. Let's just say that it's already er uh, executing erratic maneuvers to make sure that it's not going to get hit at all. Unfortunately, nothing else to shoot at. Now, I believe that I can sort of force the game to spawn in more stuff by just keeping on maneuvering. Oh, hold on. What are you over there? Something to the bows. If I can cap it, great. If not, tough luck. There's a Laco over there. Is that the only thing? I think so. Nice craft. Sorry, I have to go. Oof. That could very well kill it on the next hit. Come on. Yeah, that's the missiles. AI's dead. Target destroyed. Very good. Who would like to go next? And more importantly, are you valuable? Nah, not very. 2400 only. Now this one is picking up the stuff and shipping it back. So I'm now looking at 155,000 materials and I'm still burning quite a bit, courtesy of my steam engines. But I just like the sound of those steam engines in the back. Just the, the constant, yeah, the pistons moving. I like it. I know it's not the most efficient thing, but hey, it works. What are we engaging now? Is that an airborne target? Yep. Okay, that might cripple it. I do wonder, however, I know the Glorious can easily deal with it, but what about my anti-air batteries on, yeah, there we go, on one of my ducks? Because they keep throwing out small missiles at it, and they should be in range, so let's see what goes on here. Okay, those were probably the large missiles. Here comes the group of small missiles. They're all frags. Just to make sure I can knock off some props. There we go. Although that might not have been a small missile. Anyway, the job is done. Uh, Duck 2, go and pick Moving up the supplies, now. will you? And there's another 2900 over there. That's, that's pretty much Moving on your now. route. Moving you can go now. there and there. So far, so good. It would be nice if I could find some more difficult to kill targets. So I'll probably have to transit another warp gate soon, so I get more difficult stuff. Because again, it feels a bit easy at the moment. And I would like to actually get a few more challenges on camera. Instead of me just blowing up all sorts of stuff left, right and center. And, uh, well, <laughs> it's not that interesting. By the way, um, I know that I could be building a railgun that is not strictly a railgun, but rail-assisted. So that you have a um, 
set of gunpowder and on top of that you still have a bit of um, rail. So rail assisted cannon to make sure you don't need as much cooling and that you don't need as much rail power. Uh, it could be a bit of best of both worlds, but again, I'm not going to be doing any building in this episode. I just want to do a bit more combat. Now I'm going to pause the recording for a bit until we have something else to shoot at. Which didn't take long, as we already have something else airborne. And I think it's another one of the same craft. Let's see, where are you? Here. No, it's a Snapjaw. Okay, I want to have a closer look on the Snapjaw. Um, Fox 11 is pause. What is a Snapjaw? Oh, and there's something else out there. Good. More stuff to farm, more stuff to kill. We're up to 167,000 materials. This thing seems to be throwing small missiles my way. And more. Well, that explains the jaw. It'd be great if that thing moves. Does that have a pivot on it? Afraid not. Now, it seems to be comprised of a lot of... What are those? Cram cannons? Or are those advanced firing pieces? No, they're advanced firing pieces. So they're using a lot of smaller weapon systems. Okay. A lot of props to keep it airborne. Balloons to keep it airborne. And here are the small missile launchers. Okay. We have another set of small missile launchers there and there. These things are up to no good. Oh, and another set of medium missile launchers over here. Lots of missile launchers. The thing is mostly comprised out of metal assisted with wood. So I'd say that my railgun can very easily pen that. The other target that we have over here on the water. What the hell are you? Hello. You seem to be carrying a large cram mortar on your shoulder. And a missile launch... No, what is that? Is that a missile launcher? That's a shield. Yeah, that is a missile launcher. Missile launcher on your shoulder. On your hand, you got another missile launcher. And your other hand... No, hold on a moment. That's not a missile launcher. That is an advanced cannon. With a lot of barrels. Okay. What's keeping you airborne? Or well, what's keeping you afloat? Underwater detector. Aha. These pontoons are keeping it afloat. Right, knock off the pontoons, sink the whole thing. Fairly straightforward. Um, let's go. We're first going to knock this thing out of the skies. Hmm. Gotta be honest, I thought I was going to do a bit more damage than that. Okay, that's a bunch of barrels. I'm trying to snipe the balloons, but I don't think I can get there fast enough. How are my ducks doing? Yeah, the ducks are also engaging. Okay. I just want to make sure that the ducks don't take too much damage. Look at that. That was the frag missiles. That's going to bring it back to my level. Look at that. Holy shit. <laughs> I know I had a lot of small missile launchers on these things, but this is a bit extreme. Whoops. Almost hit my own duck there. What are you doing? <laughs> this is a classic case of, I don't know what I'm doing, so the enemy is going to have a really hard time figuring out what we're doing. We've got incoming from over there. Is that where that... Yeah, that's where the other boy is. Okay, that's one of your hands gone. I can barely see him. Can I knock off the other hand or a pontoon? Nope, skipped on the water. Come on, knock off that weapon system. Ah, good. That's one of your pontoons. Incoming missiles, potentially. Yeah, that's your missile launcher gone. I'm not sure why you're popping flares, because I don't think that that's going to save you at this moment. 
How valuable is that thing, anyway? What we got here? Where are you, anyway? You're pretty far away, aren't you? That's a resource zone. Where is he? And also, where's the other guy? Oh, I think he's dead. Alright, so let's send out one of the ducks. Receiving. Uh, duck 2, Moving you can get now. your 10,000 supplies over there. And then you can come Moving back now. to me. And Duck 1 is moving in formation with the Glorious. Excellent. Now, I'm not sure we killed it. No, we didn't, definitely didn't kill it. Or, sorry, no, that's one of my ducks. Uh, turn starboard. No, I think it's still there. All the way over on the horizon. Yeah, I can still target something. And it's not my duck. But what is that? Was that just a random explosion? Or is something else happening here? For a second there, I thought it looked damaged, but it's fine. Um, are you trying to actively ram me, or what? No, you're fine. Yeah, there it is. Uh, I can't quite see you, but here we go. Yep, hit. So you're over by a gate. I'm shooting over my starboard side. So, that thing is probably down here. There you are. The Marksman Torso. But, is that one craft? No, we got a Marksman and a Marksman Torso. It's like the thing is consisting of two craft. Interesting. Oh, and it's still launching missiles at me. That's uncalled for. Although, I suppose we could expect that. Let's head south and see if we can engage it. So far, the ducks are doing excellent work in capturing all the resources that I've been knocking down. Let's see where else there is something to pick up. I could send one of them over here and start mining this resource zone, but I think it's not really worth my time. There's 8,351 materials in there. Whereas if I knock down or ideally capture a craft, it's going to be a lot more valuable. This one's worth 62,000, and that's just the torso. So, let's see if I can get a test on that new weapon platform that I built, that missile launcher. Uh, we might have to knock down their missile launcher, though. Missed. Just so that they don't pose a threat as we're trying to capture them. What? I think I bounced off. Interesting. That's a new experience. Ooh. So far, I don't find the whole marksman part to, <laughs> to be too intimidating. Because at the moment, I don't feel like I'm getting hit by it at all. Not that I'm hitting it. There we go, that's your missile launcher gone. The one time I don't zoom in, I actually get a hit. Nope, missed it. Ah, too low. I'm maximum zoomed in on the binoculars. Whoa, way high. Yeah, that's one of your arms gone. They have some really quick repair capability there. Because I just knocked off that missile launcher and it's... Look at that! It's instantly rebuilding it. Okay. We got incoming. Hmm. Looks like we're popping all the fireworks at this point. Are you doing damage to my railgun now? Is it gonna be like that? Oh. Now I hit something critical. The one time I don't aim, I hit. And then the second time I don't aim, I hit something really critical. And I happen to blow it up. That still leaves the base marksman. Uh, you guys, cease fire, please. 
Because I would like to try and capture this. And I think that it's fairly harmless at this point. Oh. Yeah, that's probably going to kill that torso. Because that's large torpedoes coming from the ducklings. That's good. Yeah, there we go. Ah, well. 2800 material. Not that bad, but I'm still ahead. What? We have incoming missiles, or... Just fireworks all over the place. What's that? Ooh, another ship. Okay. Let's head on over. <clears throat> Say hi. I'm not sure why we're popping all these flares all the time. There must be incoming missiles. But I'm not sure from where. Let's get the docks back in formation. Uh, fleet mode. What does that thing look like? Just a... A sail yacht? Well, that's one of them less. Uh, where can we make sure this thing loses propulsion? Keep hitting the sails? Yeah, I guess. That thing's getting knocked down quick. What are you? An Essen. Already down to 86%. More importantly, where are your weapon systems? My dear Essen. So if I can knock down your weapons, I can do... Uh, well, I can s try and safely do a capture. Where are the ducks? There's one. Oh, there's the other. Okay. I think this is one of those broadside units again. It's just gonna, whoops, it's just gonna try and, uh, at least potentially, it's gonna try and broadside you and then unleash a whole volley of weapon fire. I'm not sure exactly what the range is, but I'm gonna try and hit it with the harpoon and the EMPs. No free winch, oh shit. I should have a winch on there. Now I'm launching the high-end EMP missiles. That was 33,000 EMP damage, and I immediately fried the AI. Ugh. <laughs> Great. So those EMP missiles are fairly deadly. I suppose you could say. How much is that? A couple thousand? 8,000. Not terrible. But the weapon system is not quite behaving as I was expecting. Because I'm hoping to winch this thing in. Not blow it out of the water entirely. So let's do a bit of surgery. And I know I said it was not going to be a building episode. But come on, you know how I work at this point. I can attach the winch here. And then I can put that block back. And put this beam back. There we go. Okay, any other contenders? Or are we alone? No, we got something behind me. Alright, hard starboard. That's one dock, that's the other. We're fine. Alright. Let's see if we can cap that, whatever it is. I can increase speed to full. Which is going to yield me about 30, well, sorry, about 40 meters per second. So we're going to be pretty quick. I know there's something out there, but I can't quite see it yet. No. Let's see, should we be afraid of it? Here. Stalwart. Probably not. It does cost 70,000 materials, but it carries very, very few. Cruise speed is a mere 6 meters per second. Oh, it's one of those floating cannons. Right. Yeah, we're going to have to shoot off those guns before we're ever going to be capable of capping it. Water mode at your service. All right. 
Give me weapon one. Would be nice if we had some daylight for this. There it is. No idea if this is going to be capable of even shooting off that turret. Ooh, we got incoming. Let's hope that those 30, no, 90 mils can take down those shells before they ever pose a threat. Because it seems like it's some really large, yet really slow cram cannon. Hit. I really need to hit it on the turret. It's not quite going to be the turret, is it? I can just move over to the enemy craft using the free cam. I might be able to do a bit of a better job targeting. Oh, there's something else out there, by the way. Ah. Alright, I just have to try and get close and ideally not get hit. And whatever the hell you are, I don't want you to intervene. Just don't. Whoa. What was that on the bow? Damn. Zoom in. Acquire and fire. Pretty confident in my ability to not get hit by those shells because those 90 mils or 89 mils are going to make sure that whatever st starts coming out of those barrels is immediately going to get knocked down. It's like it has a large shield in front of it that they might try to rebuild. What are you and are you valuable? 37,000 materials carrying 21,000. All right. Um. Let's slow down a bit. At lower speed, I'm a bit more maneuverable. Alright, that's one of your barrels gone. That's another one of your barrels gone. <laughs> There's just a duck circling behind it. That's another one. Now, the real question is, are we capable of safely boarding this thing? Come on. Is that other thing still interested in a fight? Yeah, I think it is. That's it right there. Don't get involved, buddy. It's not your fight. Oh, crap, I reset the controls. You're not a vehicle. You're, um... Uh, here. Q. Up. Q. Free camp, turn. Where is it? We just completely passed it. Turn back. I gotta also hope that this thing doesn't capture or eliminate the thing that I'm trying to kill. What the hell? <laughs> There's just a whole bunch of tables on there. Is that some sort of cruise ferry that just allows people to have dinner while they're getting shot at. Incoming cram shell, except not so much. Missed. At least this thing is not particularly quick. That's good. Okay, that's them out of the fight. So now I can focus on my capture. Stop doing that. Do you need another treatment? There. Whoa, calm down. 275 from enemy ships, wow. And another 316. 
You do have another turret, right, uh, on the other side, don't you? Don't you? Are you hiding something from me? You're holding out on me now. Alright, let's prepare weapon three, the harpoon. No free- what? Still? Ugh, fuck. That missile is too deadly. I don't get it though, why is there no harpoon or no free winch? Because I added a winch. Uh, this could have been such a nice capture. Where are you going? Ascending onto the heavens. Now it's just 5,800 or 5,300 materials. Oh, come on. Right, well, I guess we're going to have to work on our capture skills a bit. Because this could have been so much, so much more. Anyway, I'll do more captures, at least hopefully, next time around. For now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the combat, and I'll see you soon for another episode.